So the state of flow, also known as being in the zone, is a mental state characterized by complete immersion and focus in an activity. When in a state of flow, an individual is fully engaged and feels a sense of effortless control and enjoyment in the task at hand. Time seems to pass quickly and distractions are minimized, allowing the individual to achieve optimal performance. So hi, I'm Charlotte Frasa, a third year PhD student in computational neuroscience. And during my master, I actually did my research a little bit on flow or the concept of flow. So we really wanted to see the underlying neural correlates of the state called flow. And although we didn't really find anything, I do have to say ever since this time I became really interested in the idea of flow and how to reach this feeling of flow in your daily life. So the concept of flow, also known as the zone, was first identified by a psychologist named Mihaly and he created this book called Flow, The Psychology of Optimal Experience. He describes flow as a state in which individuals are completely absorbed in an activity with a clear goal and immediate feedback and a balance between challenge and skill level. And I think this is really the most important, that you have this balance between your challenge or what you want to achieve and the skill that you have. So for example, if your skill is a little bit too low and the challenge is too high you may become frustrated whereas if your skill is too high and the challenge is too low then you may become bored so you really want to think of this optimal experience where you feel kind of challenged and interested but it's not too difficult for you to achieve so today I want to talk about the experience of flow through coding. So I think a lot of coders or really good programmers experience flow quite often. So they really feel as if time is passing by without any required effort for them. And they're really in the zone and they just are programming on music. So this is also something that you've seen in movies maybe quite a lot and also something that I've experienced quite a lot when I'm programming myself. And today I kind of want to give you some tricks or some tools to get this experience of flow during your programming game or if you're interested in any other type of skill also these tips will transfer to those skills as well so let's get straight into it so the first tip is to pick a time where you know you have concentration. So for most people, the early morning hours are often the best time for concentration and cognitive functions. The brain is generally more alert and focused after a good night of sleep and cortisol levels, which impact focus and alertness are naturally the highest in the morning. So I usually block out in the morning an hour of one, two, three to really focus on coding. And by having this set time every day, you you can optimize the chances of you experiencing flow. So as I talked about before, the idea of flow really assumes that the challenge is high enough for your skill level. So you really have to think about a project or some kind of task that you could accomplish that's a little bit difficult or a little bit tricky, but not too tricky. So one thing that I really like to do is the 100 days of programming Python course. So they increase the difficulty level every day by just a little bit. And I really noticed that for me, this type of learning to program really works just because every day followed up on the next day and was a little bit more difficult, but I knew I could achieve it within my skill level. Then the third tip is to really eliminate all distractions. I think this is really important. If you've ever been in flow, you know that if someone knocks at your door or if your phone thinks that you're immediately out of this zone. So something that you want to do is to eliminate all these distractions beforehand. So turn off your phone, tell your roommate you're gonna be working really hard on this important programming task and you also have these apps for example for on your laptop that limit the amount of pings or messages that you can get on for example your laptop so I would download all of those if you know you're prone to distraction then the fourth tip that I want to give which I think is probably the most important is to have the right mindset so I think the mindset of I want to learn this or I want to really achieve this is in my opinion a little bit wrong because a lot of programming tasks, as you will notice, are a little bit more a creative pursuit or kind of like a puzzle solving game. So I think to have a curious mindset is actually a lot more important. So one of the things that I also think is to have this curious mindset, but also a growth mindset. So you've probably heard of this concept before, but the mindset for coding that is probably the best is the growth mindset, where you approach challenges and difficulties with a willingness to learn and grow, rather than with a fixed mindset, 
mindset that sees skills as inherent and unchangeable. So if you are of the mindset like I could never learn this skill or I could never do this, I think you're already doom talking yourself into not achieving what you want. But if you try to reframe the narrative by saying like if I just work on this every day for an hour I will in the end reach my goals. This is kind of the idea of the growth mindset and could help you tremendously. So these were my tips for reaching flow in programming. If you have any tips or if you have experienced this flow state I would love to know how your feeling of flow was because I always like to see how other people experience this state and also if you think you have some kind of tool or trick to really get into this state I would also be really curious to hear that so put it down in the comments below and otherwise see you next week. Bye!